Well, guys, we are back. It is me, your boy, Midnight, and I'm ready to talk about Minds MC Season 5, Episodes 1 and 2. Can't wait to get into it with you guys. I loved this. I enjoyed this. I know some people said it started off kind of slow. To me, it started off with the right kind of tempo that it needed. Um, but we're going to get into all my thoughts. They might be a little all over the place. I'm going to probably just die, jump in between episodes. I'm just going to, I'm really going to dive into some of the very key points here. So, uh, spoiler warning, I'm doing, I'm, I'm diving in all the way in. All right. Going all the way in all eight cylinders. I'm going into this. So, let's get on with the review. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Midnight again. It feels like it's been a while since I've sat back here, actually. Uh, like, really, it feels like it's been a little minute. Um, I've been working on so many different things lately. Writing script and uh, more acting stuff. Taking the classes, you know. And um, honestly, it's it's been, it's been nice. I've been hitting the gym a lot, too, lately. So I know... And work has had me tired, so it's been like, geez, I have not like sat and made a video like this yeah, in a minute. So I mean, I'm I'm excited for it. I don't think, and then not since Guardians actually. I mean, I've been posting shorts, you know, for you guys, but um, yeah, I haven't done something since Guardians. I still gotta go see that again. My goodness. Um, anyway, so let 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 let's dive into this. Let's talk about my MC. Okay, season five, um, episode one, right? So we start off with a very interesting premise here, okay? One of the most disrespectful ways you could go out as a person. Also, guys, bear with me. My allergies are still messing with me uh, from earlier today. It's it's just, ah, good Lord. <laughs> I hate it so much. Um, so, and like, yeah, one of the most disrespectful ways that you can go out as an individual being beaten by a pack of full grown men in front of your woman while being pissed on. I mean, full urination is happening as you are being beaten to death by this insane guy from the mountains of meth amphetamines. <laughs> Just help me out here, man. It, it, it's crazy because Isaac is such his character is so good. I mean, if it's so messed up, truly, uh, like the things he does, his cadence, how he just doesn't care. The man is like a, uh, he's like a prophet that's so far removed. Wait, he's almost like a prophet on drugs. That's really what it's like. If you've ever played Far Cry Five, he's like Joseph Seed. I swear to goodness, like he's really. Like Joseph C., the way he talks is so philosophical, yet so deadly, but you're drawn into the venom of his words. It's ridiculous. Like, that's a bar. <laughs> Save that. <laughs> Making a clip out of that. Uh, yeah, but like, he just invokes a fear, and you wonder who he's going to get next. Eventually, we do see who he gets, but we wonder, like, from our main crew, because he's he's definitely going to get one of them. The question is, who is that going to be? I don't know for sure. Don't know. Um, another thing we see, like uh, after that scene, I mean, then you know, happy good morning. Easy's having breakfast with Sophia in a very well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you got that going on. It's his birthday. Angel stumbles in. It's like, you know, he's asking him, do you know what day today is? He's like, he's like nah, I don't know. What, what What is today? What's so important about today? Everyone he goes inside, everybody says happy birthday. It's just like, it's, it's great. It's funny. Um, so, you know, we see them. They, we, one of the things that one of the uh, great conversations in the episode we see uh, not too long after that is about how they're 
the charters are just splitting off. Like they want nothing to do with this war. They just can't sustain it. They don't have the numbers to fight back against uh, Sam uh, Sons of Anarchy. So we also find out that Sam Crow is staying out of it. They're staying neutral. Um, I believe out of respect for Alvarez and gang, and it's like it's really not their chapter's beef, so they want nothing to do with it. But excuse me, but anybody who wants to fight with Sam Dino is clearly more than welcome to. That's the that's the uh, side that they're taking because Chibs, you know, he gave the order. We saw last week. Well, we heard last week he gave the order, but then it's also said that um, you know I guess it's uh, over time Chibs may have called it off and told the guys to step back some and then now they're remaining neutral that could be it um so that was that was really um that was interesting uh we get to catch up with galindo again um oh man what was Gal- it's, it's been a minute since i've watched it now i've been so busy busy i know it was like early in the week but i've just been doing a lot let me see um my goodness my nose is so irritated uh, the, oh, yes, with, with Soledad. Yeah. Oh, bro, one of the high. Oh, that was crazy. Okay, I got to talk about this scene. I believe this was in episode two. This is a highlight for me with right now with Galindo. It's crazy. Um, whew. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. So sorry. Wow. Um, Jeez. Yeah. So Galindo, right? He is has uh, Emily at the house, okay? And while Emily's at the house, he tells her that she's more than welcome to leave. She's not his prisoner. He's playing mental games with her. Because I think if she tries to leave, he's going to kill her. But I think she's going to kill him. I think she's going to try to leave it. I think she's going to be... Not successful the first time, but maybe the second time, and she's going to kill Galindo. That's what I think, possibly. Um, but he says that she will never leave with their child ever. Like, that that, that will never, they will never be alone again. Um, I thought that, that was a great scene. Um, like, wow, okay. Danny Pino flexing. Um, but, no, like, it was just... This Galindo's such a, a devious character, man. It, it's... It's insane. I'm seeing how far Emily has come, and we think, you know, she's escaped, and now I know what happened to her sister, and when she asks about it, he doesn't answer. It's, 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 ah, yeah. Um, Another scene, everything's coming back to me now. Oh, um, another scene with Galindo. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Forgive me. Um, Yes, the deal with Fuentes. Uh, he saw the guy, right? The guy that killed uh, Tomas sees him in the bathroom. Well, he sees him at the meeting there with Fuentes. And then, you know, Fuentes and Galindo, they had a very uh, long relationship. Like his father and his uh, Galindo versus Fuentes. Yeah. Galindo Sr. Uh, so they had a feud between their cartels for a very long time. He said that he didn't really like him. He despised him, but he respected him. And uh, when during this meeting, they're trying to negotiate working together, uh, bringing in the guns, changing up, uh, I believe, I think they're changing a product, if, I, if memory serves me correct. Um, and so he notices the guy in the back. And when he sees him, the guy goes to the bathroom. He goes in with him, says his name was Tomas, and just slams his head against the piping of the urinal. And against the wall to the floor, killing the guy. Leave saying his name was Tomas. Galindo's a badass. <laughs> Hands down, Galindo is that guy. Um, you know, so uh, uh, back back to what I was saying before. I know I said I was going to be all over the place. There's so much that I'm just enjoying right now that I've been talking about as far as minds. Uh, there's also the scene with still in the war room. You can feel the tension. The the guy the, the 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 crew is very shaken at this point. You know, like we're losing brothers left and right. We don't know what how we're going to sustain ourselves in this war. 
you know, Angel's tightening things up with his with the family. Uh, he, he see him and Felipe. They are starting to get along even more now. Adelita, she's at home. They're in pretty much, you know, being a family. And uh, they were struggling to take a picture. Um, that was that was that was that was cool. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. That was sweet. Yeah. Uh, but then we see this conversation between uh, Angel and. Felipe and Felipe is just saying to him, like he was, he's pretty much giving up on easy. You can tell just in his tone. Angel's not there yet. But once uh the minds clash with Iron War, this other MC that pops up, because mind you, we've got two more MCs that have popped up in these episodes that honestly I wish we got we knew of beforehand. I wish I just wish we knew their existence beforehand. I understand like now that they're expanding the lore, but it kind of upsets me that it's ending right now and we're just learning about these other two. I, I think it would have been cool to see something more with the uh Swole Boys again. You could have built a little bit more on that. Just these other by uh clubs MCs involved in this universe. Um, I would have liked to have seen more interactions with them. So, but it's the final season; it kind of sucks. But yeah, um, so yeah, we've seen two more uh, MCs. Iron War is the one that they are feuding with right now. Um, they tried to seek help from the Broken Saints, but that's an all-female MC. They are just—they are fire, honestly. Um, and they're like, "Yeah, we're not helping you in this." You know, they try to do a little bit of good, but they got to take do things to take care of themselves as well as their lot. They have these 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 great dogs. Um, there's, <laughs> I mean, there's a bit with Angel and the dog uh, biting on his junk, and it's it's it's, <laughs> it's crazy because uh, there's a great callback joke to it later on uh, that 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 was really good. Um, so, you know, they they're trying to stay out of this fight with between them and SOA. Um, they're just trying to survive and look out for themselves, which respectable. Um, Iron War, uh, they shivved Creeper. Yeah, they 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 shivved Creepers, and they and they control the guards. They control uh, the um, yeah. They they control the complex. It's crazy, man. And so they get one of the guys, uh, Guero, his uh, Ibarra's son. It's very, it's very interesting character right now. Uh, I'll come back to a comment that I read that intrigued me. So I'll, I'll come back to his character in a second. But uh, what was said, well, well, Guero, he finds uh, with this one guy with the scars on his face. Um, kind of reminds you of Chibs a bit, just that they're not fully healed. They're also like uh, the Joker very much in a way, and some other characters that I have. I'm trying to think of who else has the... There's an anime character like this. I'm trying to think of who else is like that. Um, but, yeah, so he catches him, sneaks him while he's on his bike, and they're trying to get answers as to what the deal is with them and the pipeline, who's who's running their source of the pipeline, pipeline because they, they want control of the pipeline. They want control of all the drugs and all the muling, uh, and wipe out everybody else. They, the, they, they easy. I mean, let I me mean, not say they easy wants it because easy. Uh, he just seeks power. He's desperate right now to revive this club because he knows that everybody is losing faith in him. They are losing their sense of belief for leadership that they have left. It is gone. It is almost out of the window. It is nowhere to be found. It's just. What, 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 what can we do? Huh? Like Bishop straight up says it. He says, anyone, if you're looking for, well, I'm paraphrasing here, but if, if you're looking for easy Reyes to lead you, the only place is going to lead you is to your death. That is it. Like there's, there's all faith that is lost between them. So in that scene, when they're questioning the guy from Iron War, Easy starts to beat on him viciously in such frustration, he nearly kills him. Angel and and gang and uh, Bishop, they're, they're like, you got to get off, like, get off him there, pull him off of him. Easy uh, steps to Bishop. Bishop is trying to tell him that like that, that you can't do this. Are you trying to start another war? We're losing more men than we've got. Uh, 
you know, Easy's like, well, what about Creeper? And and and, and he, then he calls out Bishop, and then Bishop's like, F you, and then they get into it. It's a fight that breaks out. Um, Angel's just frustrated with the whole situation because why like why are you acting like this? He sees Easy unraveling. This is not the brother he used to know at all. Not even close. There's not a reflection of him in the slightest bit. It's ridiculous. So I tell you, man, um, Like it's their relation. I'm telling you, I really truly believe e Angel is gonna put easy down. I'm gonna tell you why. There's another reason here, okay? And I'm gonna make a tick. Just stay tuned. There's gonna be a, a, a short or TikTok made about this in particular. Hear me out, right? So in episode two, okay, what we see nearing the end of it, Cole comes back. Who is Cole? Cole was one of the mercenaries that they were working with in season three. I haven't watched season three in a minute, but I remember it. I forgot what task they were doing, um, but I remember that they were working together at one point in time and things didn't go right. So Angel it gets threatened by him and he says, I told you not to go looking in the pipeline. Stop looking for things I told you to not look for. They threatened him. They are with the cartel. They threatened him while he was holding Maverick, which is his son's name. They went with it, Maverick. And then it's great acting by Clayton Cardenas, too. Uh, he, he, they wa he walks in the next room. After this happens, they leave out. Adelita all of a sudden walks in, like just misses the guys. And she's asking what's wrong. He's like, yeah, he's fine. Had a bad dream. And you see he's trying to, he's shaking. And you can see he's really trying to shake this off. That he's really like, he's he's afraid. He's in fear. He has a family now. He's looking out for people that he loves. He's trying to be a good father, right? And this frightens him. Obviously, this would frighten, and, and this would frighten anyone. So he goes to, he, he, when he calls a Templar. And this is when all the guys were talking about, you know, they just don't believe in Easy. And Easy just shows up out of nowhere. Like a sh ninja is ridiculous. So Angel confronts Easy. He's like, why? Everyone's asking, why did Angel call? Who called the Templar? It was Angel. He's like, we're done. That's it. You're pulling us out of this war. It's over. I'm not doing it anymore. Easy's like, well, we're almost there. It doesn't matter. Do you hear what I'm saying? You have someone to live for now. In the previous episode, at one point, towards the end, we see Angel actually bring Maverick to see Easy, to see his uncle. Why? To show him that he has something to live for. That people that th and, and this is what Alvarez was warning them about. You guys have things to live for now. Why would you want to get caught up in a war where you can lose your life and then leave your family to suffer? And yet you wanted this war anyway. Now you're losing men. Families are being broken, torn apart. Why? Because of some self selfish war that you want easy. It's terrible. You're it's it's so bad. Like you are it's so bad. Like you are so awful for that. But I understand. You know, the, you know, in, in, in terms of the universe, the need for war and the battles and all that. But it's like more than no, you're, you're bro, you got that you have family that you have to live for. And Sophia sees and she freezes when this happens, right? And what takes place, like, well, you kind of see in her face, like she's remembering what it was like when she had a kid, just watching Easy hold uh, Maverick. And as we know from season four, she was responsible for the death of her daughter because of being negligent. So, Easy's a bit shaken. By I think he might have caught on a little bit. Actually, no, I take that back. He clearly hasn't caught on um, all the way because once it's found out that um, who... Who's uh, I'm trying to remember now who's controlling the pipeline. It's, it's almost, I, th I believe it was fair game at this point. And there was either way, easy says he wants to take down the cartel. 
Somebody in the comments, for just just remind me. I know it's been a few days since I've watched it, um, but I know I believe. Yeah, Easy says, "Let's take down the cartel." That's how episode two ends. It's crazy, and I love it so much because I was not expecting that. Like they're going to the top. They're trying to take out all the other players. Or they're saying, forget the other players. They know who controls what. The cartel already has everything. He who takes out the cartel rules the world is essentially what he was thinking to himself. And that's what he wants to do. But that is an impo- that is, that is There's going to be much more bloodshed on so many sides. Then it makes me wonder who's going to side with them in this war. Because now you're not only fighting... Uh, the Sons of Anarchy, you're fighting the cartel, who is heavily weaponized, uh, plenty of connections in high offices. How, how, do you, how do you plan to pull this off and live? And, get keyword, and live! There is no survival after this. <laughs> you want to fight the cartel? Ah, wow, man. Wow. Listen. I know when Jax Teller was alive, he was able to fight off the cartel. He also had greater numbers, too. And he was a bit smarter about how to handle things. Easy, on the other hand, I don't know. I mean, Easy smart, but his pride, his hu- it, it is really his hubris. His pride is what really gets in the way. You really think you know everything. It's it's such a honestly he's a, he's such a well written character it's 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 really amazing to me, um, but that's what he's thinking. Man, I, we'll just take out the cartel. Uh, one of the prospects got him a book. Nestor, Nestor got him a book called uh, "On War." On War, yeah. And we see Easy reading it at different points too. So, you know, he's studying different tactics on how to. You know, take on his enemies. Uh, Nestor said he gave it to him because he just sees that he reads a lot and he just likes to read. It was a good gift for Nestor. I think there's going to be a lot more of Nestor this season too. Uh, he's got this 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 look that him and Jasmine give each other, right? Um, they, they they have this look like they like they, they may be something. And then uh, Trini she comes in and is like, oh, "I want you to just get a room phone already. You know, just just go ahead, get it on. You know, yeah, just." just have at it. Have at it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so I think there might be a little bit more from him this season. I think maybe at the end he becomes a full patch. I think he does something to become a full patch. I think he definitely survives. I don't think he dies because um, I saw a post earlier where they were saying, like, who do you think will survive to the end? Um, you know what? I think Nestor will. I think Nestor has a good chance. Um, but, yeah, so... Uh, back, back, back to the war. Uh, Creeper, uh, like I said, he was shivved by Iron War. They're in this battle now, uh, taking me back to Guero. Okay, so remember how I said that I was going to come back to Guero's character? That felt like a while ago. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so, with well, the comment that I saw uh, was, what if Guero is actually a plant for the Suns? Or another crew. Now, I said, now that would be interesting if he was, because he is. Uh, I, I mean, his character is just different. He's very hype, very macho, high strung, um, almost like not wired, but he's very he's very macho. Like, um, and you know, he's upset because he you know he knows about how his father went out. So we, we see how that played out earlier. Almost was a fight earlier one in the first episode, and um, now he yeah he assault he actually took out the biker that um, from Iron War and brought him to Easy and the crew. Now, do I think that there's a possibility he may be a play? <sighs> I don't think so. I think that would be. As cool as that would kind of be, I just don't see where it makes sense. Um, because you know, his, I mean, 
he could be working with them because of what happened with his father. Maybe they got a wind of it. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just. I think that's overcomplicating it. I think he genuinely is with uh, the Mayans. I think he genuinely, you know, because that's how he grew up. What he grew up around. I think that's what he, he's genuinely with the club. He just hated what happened, um, but I think he is with the club for sure. Um, I'll also say another another highlight. Oh, just going crazy again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just the nose is so weird. I gotta find another remedy. Truly, I really do. Um, so Letty and Hope. They're working with Louie by taking out all of his competition. Pretty much robbing guys and taking all their product and their all their customer assets. Like they're taking everything. And they're getting paid for it. Not nearly enough as they should. I mean, it's like three hundred dollars. Here you go. They have a thirteen thousand dollar mortgage payment to get off. Uh because Coco was she, you know, letting it know that Coco wasn't paying for the house. And so someone came to serve her papers. Said that she had a week. Her landlord came and told her she has a week. To get thirteen thousand dollars together, and or, or she's out. Nothing else to it. She's out. So her and Hope are running this, uh, this the scam against the men, threatening uh, Louis that if they don't pay them, that if he doesn't pay them more, they will definitely find someone who will pay them thirteen thousand dollars for the information that they have on him trying to wipe everybody else out, which is. To me, honestly, um, a very, excuse me, interesting point that is being made. Um, I'm very curious as to where the rest of that story goes. Uh, I'm curious as to where Jasmine uh, takes another role in this because she's working for the Suns and giving them information. So I wonder where uh, she goes with this. Very curious because we didn't see much after that. Um, Isaac took out Hector and Wolverine. Oh, man. I mean, well, he didn't take out Hector, but he was threatening Hector and his family. And very, very like he his his own Sam Dino's in fear of him. The only one that I don't think fears him is the VP. I mean, I think he fears him to an extent, but not as much as the others. The others are really they just don't care for his tactics and how he is. Uh, and so um, he he tells Hector, he has to choose Wolverine or his family, his wife and his daughter. And you know, Hector is struggling with choosing eventually uh as he tells him, good. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. A point. I'll go ahead and take him out. He doesn't. Takes out Wolverine. That's it. I mean, Isaac is ruthless, man. He wants blood in the water. He would want so desperately to be his brother. He said he envies him. He wants to be his brother so desperately. Uh, and, and it's almost like he's he's chasing that, but also just having his own fun because he really loves striking fear in people. I'm telling you, man, it's insane. Um, I'm curious as to where next episode goes. Those are my highlights. I know I went a lot all over the place, but the, the, this is, I, I really enjoy this. I, I really enjoy this. Um, I'm really going to uh, do these on Fridays. This week just got really busy and I had my schedule was kind of all over the place. Um, so I apologize for that. Uh, but yes, I'm going to stick to Fridays. It's been a few days, like I said, since I watched it. So things can be kind of faint a lot of just a lot's been going on. Uh, but I definitely want to talk more, leave comments. Uh, let me, let me know what your other thoughts, if there was anything that I missed that I didn't touch on, please tell me so we can talk about them. I would love to, I'm definitely going to find time to, Rewatch them as well. 
uh, and just for you know, just to confirm certain uh, ideas and, and 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 just you know follow the story even better. But I hope you enjoyed here I, again. My allergies are really it's really been rough on me today. Pollen count is high down here. I, I miss April. <laughs> The, the rain, like, thank you. I need more rain, <laughs> please. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, there, there's a lot that's that's happening here. I, I'm very curious, like I said, as to where things go in episode three. Um, I don't have any. I told you some of my theories. Um, obviously, I don't think anything. Oh, there's another. I gotta talk about this scene with Hank. That I was so good. Frankie Loyal acted his behind off. When he dropped his mom off at the the nursing home, she was having dementia, forgetting things, man. And it he played it so well, and it was such a heartbreaking scene because the 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 uh, the, the nurse she just tells him it's best if you just leave. It's and she's and he's telling her it's not your fault. The things are happening. The things are changing. It's not your fault, but. She is broken, and and not she. She doesn't you know fully understand what's going on, and it's 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 really sad, man. It's it it really is. And like I said, Frankie Lowe, he did his thing, and it was a it was a, it was a really well done scene. But um, yeah, guys, stay safe out there. I love you all. Um, I cannot wait till next week to dive into that episode. Um, hoping to have a guest next week. Uh, so we shall see how uh, this all plays out. Um, Sunday I have class again, so whenever I get the video from class, um, this next scene that we do, I'll post it up on the channel for you all to watch. I got a couple more things that I'm going to do to post for you all, let you all know what's going on. Uh, some more acting videos, some more fun videos, just being, you know, just being me, being silly, uh, fun, if you will. Um, I am trying to really fight this. It seems like now every time I do a Minds video, my allergies are acting up, and I don't know why that is. It's kind of giving me the creeps. But anyways, guys, you guys stay safe. Love you all. Peace out. Remember, one pack, whew, one pack, one nation, one smooth how. I'll just see you guys in the next one. Bye. Y'all gonna check me out at these here socials. I'll see you all in the next one. And by the way, make sure that you stay tuned for all types of content that I got going on at this here channel. Remember, one pack, one nation, one smooth how.